Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Amanullah. You are watching my YouTube channel, Dr. Aman's video. Dear viewer, I hope you will be fine and doing good. Today we are going to discuss gram stain, the most widely used procedure in the routine bacteriology for the differentiation of two groups of bacteria. One is gram positive and the other is gram negative. This stain is used to differentiate these two groups of bacteria. And this difference is made on the difference between the com chemical composition of these two group of bacteria in the cell wall. Before going to discuss the difference in the cell wall of these two group, I would like to tell you the four, four important step of the gram stain. In the first step, we use crystal violet and this crystal violet is known as primary dye because it is color therefore it is known as primary dye in the second stage we use iodine solution and it is known as mordant or fixer because this iodine is used to fix the ion of crystal violet into the cell wall of the bacteria therefore it is known as mordant in the third step we use decolorizer this decolorizer could be of three types if uh, number one it could be of ethanol or it could be of acetone or it could be the solution of ethanol and acetone and this decolorizer is used at the third step after iodine in order to decolorize the crystal violet which is a primary dye how it happened we will discuss further finally we add Saffronin, which is color therefore as we add saffronin at the end therefore it is known as counter stain so among these four steps these two crystal violet and saffronin are colors or dye therefore it is known as primary and that is known as counter one is iodine which fix crystal violet with the cell wall and one is decolorizer now again come to the composition of the cell wall as we know that in gram positive bacteria the layer of peptidoglycan is very thick which which make almost 90 percent of the cell wall of gram positive bacteria while in gram negative bacteria the layer of peptidoglycan is very thin which constitute about 10 percent of the cell wall of gram negative bacteria and this saffronine uh, this thin layer of peptidoglycan is further added or covered by an outer membrane which is made up of protein and phospholipid. Now what happened in crystal violet or what is the basic phenomena or mechanism behind the scene? When we add crystal violet in the first step on the smear made up of bacterial growth or bacterial colony, this crystal violet attached to the peptidoglycan in the second stage we add gram iodine when this when we add this gram iodine this gram iodine make complexes with crystal violet and this crystal violet and iodine complex is larger in size from crystal violet and iodine therefore these larger crystal violet iodine complex attach to the peptidoglycan when we add crystal violet uh, sorry when we add decolorizer in the third step what this uh, decolorizer does this 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 decolorizer actually try to remove the iodine and crystal violet complex but in gram positive bacteria as we know that peptidoglycan layer is very thick which comprised of almost 90 percent of the cell wall Therefore, when we add decolorizer, decolorizer remove the water content from the peptidoglycan. Therefore, the peptidoglycan become tighten and fit. And the crystal violet and iodine complex become trapped in this large layer of peptidoglycan. Therefore, this decolorizer could not remove the iodine and crystal violet complexes from the thick layer of peptidoglycan in gram positive bacteria or in other words you can say that gram positive bacteria can easily retain the crystal violet and iodine complex because of the presence of a thick layer of peptidoglycan while in gram negative bacteria the layer of peptidoglycan is very thin which cover or which makes almost 10 percent of the cell wall 
Therefore, when we add decolorizer on gram negative bacteria, so this decolorizer dissolve the outer layer of gram negative bacteria or outer cell membrane of gram negative bacteria. Therefore, these iodine and crystal violet complexes leak out from the gram negative bacteria because the thin layer of peptidoglycan layer in gram negative bacteria is not able to retain these complexes. Therefore, gram negative in gram negative bacteria these complexes are removed because of the dissolution of the outer cell wall and the thin layer of peptidoglycan. When finally we add sephranine, so gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria both take the color of sephranine. But in gram positive bacteria, the peptidoglycan layer is very thick and which is covered by the crystal violet and iodine complex. So therefore, the color of sephranine become very fade in gram positive bacteria because the color of crystal violet is hard which is purple blue or violet and the color of sephranine is pink which is lighter as compared to the purple color. So therefore the color of sephranine become fade and the color of crystal violet become evident in gram positive bacteria. But in gram negative bacteria there is no complexes of crystal violet and iodine therefore the space is open for sephranine and the sephranine attached to the cell wall of gram negative bacteria therefore the gram negative bacteria become pink with sephranine. After performing the procedure. So what we do the procedure is very easy first of all we prepare smear on a glass slide then we heat fix on a, buns, on, the, on a Bunsen burner or a spirit lamp by passing three times on the surface of the flame. After that, we add crystal violet for one minute, then iodine, uh, sorry, uh, then we remove crystal violet and rinse with tape water. Then we add iodine for one minute, then again we, we rinse in tape water. Then we add uh, decolorizer by drop by drop or for 5 to 10 seconds. You can flood the smear for 5 to 10 seconds or you can add the drops from falling from upward and to going downward from the slide. Then again we rinse the slide with tape water. Then finally we add sephranine for 1 minute and then we again rinse in the tape water for 1 minute. Then we air dry the smear and we examine under the microscope under oil immersion lens. Under oil immersion lens you will examine gram positive bacteria as purple in curl because of the crystal violet while gram negative bacteria will look pink or red in color because of the color of sephranine. I hope you would find this video very helpful in your studies. Please like and share this video and subscribe my channel and also try to hit the bell icon in order to get notification for my upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Fiyamanillah.